Hey, this is Tony, uh, Tony the Mayor. Some of you know me by my real name. Uh, what I want to do first is just ask you when you watch these videos, please like, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. That helps your uh, podcast in YouTube, Spotify, and Apple. If you leave a comment, leave a suggestion, leave a thumbs up, it helps to move up the algorithm a little bit more people to get out there and see because that's what my ultimate goal for more people to see my podcast so please get through that don't just wait till you see me in walmart and say hey i saw your podcast it was great now i didn't even know you had facebook i didn't even know you had youtube so leave a message leave something you know um moving ahead as i've been talking about and i will talk about a little bit about advocating for your children is that, you know, one of the places that I uh, think that we need to really advocate for our kids is, is in, and be watchful is in churches. And a lot of people may not like this, is that, you know, I've been in church for years. And a lot of people may not like to think that I'm maybe throwing stones, but my saying is that you're ruffling feathers. I get that from my grandson when you bring these things up. And it's not that I'm bringing them up, but I'm creating scenarios to remember the scenario that happened before with you because we let our guards down in church a lot because we trust people because they say they have this or they say they have that and they've been in church all these years and, uh, and uh, we look over some of those things. But we forget that some of those things that they may experience they're still struggling with. If you got thieves, liars, corrupt people in government, in the medical field, in schools, you think you don't have them in churches? So be watchful as well as prayerful as the Bible tells us. So watch the kids, you know, and, and sometimes we learn the hard way. I mean, I learn the hard way sometimes with my kids because I'm trusting other people with them. But you have to watch when your kids start saying they want to sit with Sister Sally and hang with this person. This person ain't got kids, but they love kids and love having them spend the night and stuff. Uh-uh. No. Why? You want to take them to Disney World? You want to take them to Six Flags? You know, because you love my kids? And then they start creating this thing that your kids start liking them more than they like you. So everything you say, you're the enemy now. Because they create these things. And, and, and I've learned, I learned the hard way of how they do these things how they work and I've learned about being in the mental health field for years over almost 19 years is that they make everything that you do seem so bad and everything that they do so perfect and start offering your kids all these things gifts and everything else so be careful and love your children advocate they may get mad because you say no you ain't going there no you ain't taking that you mean you buy my kid a PlayStation? No, I can't buy one. And now I'm the bad guy because I can't afford it. But you can and you want to give it to me. Watch it. Watch it. Be there for your kids. My kids went to church school younger time. When I put them out, I was the bad guy. I didn't care. But I didn't like what was going on. I didn't like what they were coming home and telling me. And sometimes your kid will be afraid to come home and tell you stuff because that other person is putting fear in them. Making them feel like the outcast. It's almost a form of bullying, but by adult. So listen to your kids when they start telling you certain things. Or listen to them when they come home and saying, acting certain ways and going straight to their room and had. Be there for them and listen. Don't trust everybody just because they got a shout and a dance in the church. Because that's where some of the worst things happen. In churches I have been in before because we have a tendency to put blinders on because we love these people and we love God and they have a great message but if you look over the history of some of these great ministries from Jimmy Swagger to the Bakers they fail because of greed and lust and other things too pride pride takes over when pride takes over an individual in church, it creates havoc within the ministry and put fear in the No, it should be no reason at all that you should be fearful when you come to church. 
When your leader walks in, now I'm supposed to be talking about advocating for your children. But when your leader, then people walk in, you shouldn't get scared because the pastor's here. Or oh, this person's around, the evangelist is here. Oh, I'm scared now. You know how they do. We better do this right. You shouldn't be, you should feel joy and happy. You should feel, I mean, they're, they're not Jesus. You're, if anything, you fear God. So don't make the mistakes of some of the mistakes I had. Listen to your children and know that uh, everything that someone says or believe in is not what you believe in. Just because they, they believed in it for their kids. My kids didn't do this. You know, you have your leader say, my kids didn't do this. My kids didn't do that. I didn't let my kids do that. Why are you letting your kids do that? Because they are my kids. I have to raise my kids the way I want to. I don't do everything, didn't do everything with my kids and my mother did with me. So why should I uh, think a person has all the knowledge in the world because they did their kids this work, they work this way. And then you find out years later, it ain't even work with their kids. Because they sliding down the sliding board and on their way to a burning hell. Because they ain't even listening to their parents and not doing it the way their parents told them to do it. It ain't even working. So don't try to fool me and think that you're, you know, it worked on your kids. And it should work on my kids. No. I got to advocate for my kids everywhere they go. Whether it's in church, the community. Fight for them. Fight for our children. We're living in a crazy world right now where technology takes their mind and takes every, over everything. But fight for them. Even when you're sitting on the pews in church, be watchful as well as prayerful. Thank you. Have a blessed day.